Hi, I'm Barry Garcia with Nanlite. In today's deeper look, we're gonna look at all the wonderful accessories we have for our Pabu tubes. And we've got lots of types. We've got the 6C, which is the 10 inch. We've got the 15C, which is the two footer. And we've got the 30C, which is the four footer. All these different types of Pavo tubes can do lots of different things. You can do interviews, you can do B-roll, you can do background lighting and create all kinds of cool colors or effects. There's lots of different things that you can do with the Pavo tubes and there's lots of different ways that you can mount them as well as modify them. So let's talk about that today in this deeper look. Now, what am I gonna get for mounting? All right, so I get one of these for the 15C and two of these for the 30. I also get two of these steel cables that allow you to go through the ends of the light and it allows you to be able to hook it up. So how does this work? All right, well, first you've got the clamp here. The back of this guy actually has quarter 20s that you can mount things into it. You're gonna set the light inside the clamp, click it over. It's clear so that the light actually shines through and then you're able to actually mount it to something. Now, for the actual cables, the cable itself is going to fit through the end of the actual fixture, like so. It's gonna turn around and then you screw it together. So now you can actually use this to hang it from something like this. So you wanna be able to have your light vertical. All right, well, that's easy to do. What I've done here is I've actually taken a ball head and attached it to my quarter 20 stand. So the quarter 20 went into the bottom of the ball head. The ball head itself went into the quarter 20 receiver in the bottom of the clip. Now we've all got it in one nice succinct package. So let's take the light, we'll lay it in clamp it down. Now we can do a vertical if we want to do something like that. So something like this might work for you. Or you might want to have a weird angle or something like say, I don't know, something like that maybe. And that would allow you to be able to position the light so that it works for you. So let's talk a little bit about some of the other mounting options that Nanlite makes for your Pablo tubes. Now this is a 5 8 baby pin with a tube mounting clip. Now this works well with a C-stand which is what we have here. Now I have a C-stand knuckle that's pretty much ready to go. So now we're gonna take the 5 8 pin, slide it in, lock it down, and then now we have the actual holder is open. Now we're gonna take our light and actually put it into place, clamp it down, and lock it down. So now that the light itself is clamped into the knuckle, this is what makes it really easy to use. You can actually go any direction that you need to. Now you can take it down or take it out. You can slide it at any route or even go vertical or horizontal, depending on what you need. So let's talk about some of the other accessories that Nanlite makes. Now this is a single tube holder that is flexible enough to be able to move around with a 5 8 baby pin. And it's gonna go really well with the C-stand we were just working with on the last clip. So we're gonna actually put this guy into the actual stand and lock it down. Okay, now one of the nice things about this guy is that this thing is very, very movable. You can kind of do all the different things that you might need to with the light. Now, let's do this. Let me lock this into place real quick and let's rotate that. Now, let's just go ahead and slide our tube onto the holder like so. There we go. Now we got a good, nice positive lock. So we can take this guy and put it basically anywhere we need to, or you can just stick it right up top and be ready to go. So let's talk about another accessory that Nanline has. Now, this is one of my favorites. This is the 90 degree single tube holder. And this thing can do pretty much everything. And what I mean by that is, it actually has a tension knob that can be unscrewed, put into any of the other tension holes that you see on here, because all these holes allow you to have vertical and horizontal movement. Now here's what I mean by that. So you could do this or this. You could also do this or this. Or lastly, you could do something just like this, however it will work for you. Now, put a little tension on that, get it nice and tight, then I'll take the actual light, snap the light in, and you're on your way. So let's talk a little bit about the goosenecks. Now, these are great for your two-piece or four-piece kit. This right here is the double, and the double actually allows you to be able to put two lights side by side, and then be able to use both lights at the same time. Now, it's a gooseneck in that it actually has a 45 degree neck here that goes down to a 5 8 inch receiver with a tension knob. And on the back here, this big wing nut actually allows you to move the ball around and then you can take this thing and be vertical or horizontal, depending on what works for you. Or you can tilt it up or tilt it down and allow you to set the light wherever you might need it. So let's talk about a quad gooseneck. Now the quad gooseneck obviously is different from the double in that it actually allows you to have four lights instead of two. 
Now, the nice thing about this is the ability to be able to have a heavier duty gooseneck to hold like a four piece kit. Now, it's got a 45 degree head that goes down into an actual 5 8 inch receiver with a tension knob. And again, it does a lot of the same things that our double gooseneck does because you can actually loosen this knob and move the heads or the lights around on the ball head. So if you wanna be vertical, you wanna be horizontal, you wanna go up or down, it'll basically do all those pieces for you. So there are lots of different types of clamps out there that you can choose from. Obviously a super clamp is probably one of the most famous. Now this guy works great for actually either two foot or four foot pavo tubes. You basically just stick it in the jaws and tighten it down. So again, there are a lot of different types of clamps out there on the market to make this work. I just grabbed a Cardellini clamp that I had laying around. I'm gonna basically slide that into it and then tighten it down. Now with it mounted, I can either go vertical or horizontal depending on what I need. And especially with the C-Stand, I can really stick it in places that I need light. So let's talk about modifiers for your Pavo tubes, whether it be the 15C or the 30C. We have barn doors and egg crates that go for both sizes. So let's show you how to put them together so that you can use them. All right, so how I like to start this off is to start with the actual barn doors themselves and lay them flat. Now I'm gonna take the actual paddles, lay those out onto the actual barn doors on either side. Now, this thing is basically put together with the hook and loop or Velcro system. This just allows you to be able to kind of put things together quickly and efficiently. So if I actually take that and roll it over onto the flippers here, this allows me to be able to go ahead and build the barn doors themselves, be ready to go. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna put my light into the actual clips. Open those up, light goes in, now, what I like to do is to go ahead and straighten and pull as tight as I can, close those clips down and lock them into place. This gives me barn doors that have more rigidity to them. We're pretty much ready to go and we can make this use for whatever we need to, okay? But let's say we wanna actually add the egg crate. It's pretty easy to do. Now there's something you have to pay attention to here on the actual egg crate. One side, is like a little deeper down or a little bit farther down than the other side. So you need to be able to see between the front and the back. The front, the louvers are gonna be closer to the edge right here compared to the back. Now the back is going to be farther up and you're gonna have a much bigger side. So this is the side right here we're gonna put on the light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay that down and bring my barn doors up. And then on the outer edge of my barn doors, you're gonna see this Velcro. I'm gonna loop that around and hook the actual egg crate to it. I'll do it on one side, then I'll do it on the other side, and now my egg crate is ready to go. So I'll turn my light on, and basically there it is, ready to go. Now, how is this going to attach to a mount? That's always a good question. On the back here, you can actually see the actual opening or slit right here actually allows us to be able to attach the mount itself to the light. So we're gonna set it into the actual mount, and you're pretty much ready to go. All you gotta do is rotate it into position. So if you're looking to run your Pavo tubes a lot longer, there's an option for you. You can actually use a V-mount battery, 14.8 volt, as well as a D-tap cable to actually power your lights for a good long time. So now let's talk about the Pavo Tube 6C and all of its really cool accessories. Now remember, a lot of the accessories that we used on the 15 and 30C will work for the 6C. You can use the tube mount clip with a quarter 20 receiver or a tube mount clip with a five inch pin, tube holder with a swivel ball joint with a five inch baby pin. You can use a single tube holder with a five inch receiver, or you can just use the goose mount double or quad that allows you to use four or two different tubes. So one of the nice small little accessories that Nanlite has is basically this little ball head because it's got a quarter 20. It actually allows you to be able to screw it in into the quarter 20 receiver that's on the bottom or the top of your Pavo Tube 6C. Now this actually gives you ability to also be able to screw this down to a stand because it's got a quarter 20 receiver in the bottom. Now, the nice thing is you can actually take and move the light all around like this, as well as maybe at a 90 degree. One of the other options is maybe putting it on a tabletop tripod. This happens to be a Benro tabletop tripod that I have. This works really well if you're trying to shoot like maybe um, small product videos, or you've got some sort of small thing on a tabletop that you need to shoot. You know what it really does good with is for those zoom videos you're trying to get done. So let's talk about extra battery runtime for your 6C. Now, 
Here is the actual battery handle. Now, this is a cool little accessory to have. It's got a quarter 20 on the top, and it actually goes into the bottom of the quarter 20 on the bottom of the light. Now, this allows you to be able to kind of screw the light in just like so. This battery handle will run off of the 550 NP batteries. So you can change these out when they start to go down. Now, you're going to plug up the USB-C like so, and you're going to get about an extra 70 minutes or so of runtime out of your light. So you turn your light on, and you should be all set to go. So one of the other cool accessories we have is the waterproof bag. Now this is going to allow you to be able to use your light in like a heavy rain situation, or maybe you want to try to put it in the pool and be able to light something that way. You're going to use the little clips to be able to latch the door closed. Like so. And then we're going to snap and you're all set. So we also have a lanyard that you can actually snap onto it so you can hang on to your light. So one of the last accessories for the Pavo tubes is the actual Nanlink remote control. Now this guy's gonna work for not just the 6C, but for the 15 and the 30C as well. Now the nice thing about it is it allows you to turn it on or off, obviously, but then you can control the CCT, which allows you to control your brightness or just to be able to dim it down if you need to, but it also allows you to control your color temperature. So if I need to pop all the way down to 2700 Kelvin or I need to run all the way back up to 75, I can. But it also allows you to control your color. So I can go to HSI and then I can change my color to whatever it is I'm looking for. You know, I have 360 different colors I can choose from. So much control at your fingertips. That's one of the great things about the remote control. Or if you don't like it, you can just turn it off. So thanks for joining us on this deeper look of the Pavo tube accessories. Remember, if you have more questions, you can always go to nanlightus.com and see what we have there. Or check us on our YouTube channel at Nanlight USA. Remember, you can leave a comment or a question on any of our YouTube videos, and then we'll get back with you. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.